and this day inspired me a lot. And I, I, I had a high expectation before I came to Africa, but even that, the result in for a whole day today is better than I expected. And especially when I, I'm a very lucky person. In the past 18 years, in my apartment, I talked to 18 young people like me that we want to build up a company using internet to help doing business easier, to using internet to support every small business, support every young people, every woman, that if they have a dream, if they have some ideas, we will enable them to make their dream true and sell things, sell their products all over the world. That was the uh, nine, that was year two, 1999 in my apartment. Well, very few people believe that, but we made it happen in only 18 years. I'm a very, very lucky person. And people say, have you ever learned business before? Have you done business before? Have you learned the, like MBAs? No, I have never learned any knowledge about how to do business. I never got even one day of training of computer. I still doubt, still even to today, I don't know how computer works. <laughs> A lot of people challenge me, how can you run such a big e-commerce company without knowing, uh, without knowing the anything about the knowledge, without anything about the financing and marketing? And I say, this is because I know people. I know what people want. I know what people don't want. And this is critical. Where I learned that, I learned my experience of working with people when I was a student in the university. So in my life, I'm telling people my age, I'm, I'm 53. In my past years, I'm always a good student. Keep on learning. You don't have to be the best, but you have to know who is better than you are and work with him. And always be a good teacher. A good teacher is share the knowledge and expect the other people better than you are. So these are the qualities that I learned and to be a CEO. So go back to this campus is always what I want. I asked my wife when I started my business, I say, do you want your husband to be a rich person or to be a person that be respected? She said, you will never be rich. <laughs> <laughs> I, she's right, because nobody thought, my father, my parents never thought I would be rich. Because I don't have a gene of being rich. So even to today, because it's true, my, my schoolmates, my classmates, my teachers, my parents, n nobody thought I would be rich. This guy been filled for so many times. How can you be rich? I never thought I would be rich. Even to today, people say, Jack, you are one of the richest people in China in the world. I think this is not my money. I think to me, just to think I'm living a dream. We have a one million, that's your money. We have a 20 million, that's the problem. You have to think about the valuation, where should I put the money, invest in real estate, or buy stocks, or invest in VC. Most of them, they were gone. We have one, more than one billion dollars. That's the money belong to the society. And people in the society trust that you can spend the money better than government. So they give you the money. <laughs> And I, I'm sharing a lot of ideas with young people. How can you be successful? And how not to fail? And the third, how can you be respected? I'm not a bad person respect. A lot of people in China don't like me. Because they say I destroy their business. I never destroy anybody's business. They normally people destroy themselves. If you want to be successful, you should have a high EQ. You know, IQ, EQ, and there's another called LQ, the Q of love. If you want to be successful, you should must have a high EQ.